What's going on people, this is your boy Theo here and this is a quick rant and this one is aimed at Jeremy Clarkson and <sighs> Jeremy, why would you want to write something of hate towards somebody? Why? Why would you do that? Why would you want to um, say that you hate them more than Nicola Sturgeon? I don't get that. I don't get that. What you said in that article, and I'm not even going to read it out or anything else like that, but I just feel like what you're doing is that you think that it's acceptable to speak to women in that way in 2022. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm livid and I'm angry at that, to be honest, because even though personally I've gone through things myself and I've learnt things where I've learnt things I could never come on here or any on my socials to say women are this, women are that. I could never do it. Never. You won't find me doing that. Right? Because I like I said, a lot's happened to me and I've moved on. Right? You just now been branded in the same category as Piers Morgan. I don't know what you got against these people. I don't know what you get got against Megan. Why? We all seen the documentaries, right? And and if I'm really being honest with you, right, the documentary in itself, there was no slagging involved or anything else like that. I think I think on balance, right? They are decent people. I'm thinking, why would you want to say that they're, that, that they're not? Why do you think they're, that, that they're trashing the royal family? They're not trashing the royal family. They are saying how they feel, right? They don't like what's going on, so they remove themselves out of the situation. That is it. I know that some people don't care. I know that some people don't care about what Harry and Meghan have to say and all that stuff, but... But... I've I've watched them and I've said to myself, okay, I can understand where they're coming from. I can leave them alone. For me, I could like somebody. I could like somebody or dislike somebody. But if I'm going to dislike somebody, I would say it, but I won't say it once. But I'm not going to spend all of my time and energy just to, you know, make it a lot worse. I'm just not going to do that. Why would I want to do that? Why would I? It does me nothing, right? There's no profit for me to actually say to myself, yeah, I like this and I want this person. I mean, come on, get a grip. Get a grip. This shouldn't be what men are talking about in 2022, right? We shouldn't be talking to women like this at all. And I don't have that sort of mentality where, you know, a lot's been done to me to say that I want to spew out hate against anybody, right? Because I believe in in good natured people. I believe in that. The problem is just that there is people out there who are the opposite. And and at the end of the day, what what Jeremy Clarkson has done, what Piers Morgan has been doing. It's unacceptable and they need to give it a rest. And the bottom line as well, they're both married. I can't even imagine what their partners have got to say about this, but it's just really unacceptable, right? You can't say things like that. You just can't, right? I just don't get it. I, I, I don't get it in the most purest form. It's wrong on so many levels. And and also and also what's, what's really bad about it is just that these people behind the scenes are allowing such material to get posted out there. Now, people will get at me and say it's all about it's all about free speech and all that, and they've got a right to talk about what they want to talk about. But to to do it in this way, come on, man, it's deplorable. I can't I can't get behind that. I won't get behind that. You won't ever see me get behind all that, right? I've been making videos talking about how much I respect women. I've been making videos talking about how much I value women, 
right? I've seen them from from where they were, where they were to how they are now. It's admired, right? We've seen we we've seen um, uh, the England women's team, the Lionesses, win the Euros, right? This summer, that, that that's never really been done before. And 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 now, following from that, we're gonna see an uh, a much more greater interest, and there'll be a more greater input into women's football because they broke down the barriers. There's women that's always been breaking down barriers, always, but it's just those kind of men that kind of say to themselves, "Yeah, no, the no, 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 women can't do it. Women cannot do that. Women cannot say this. Women can't do that." And I'm there thinking to myself, "You are just delusional." Women are more than housewives. They're more than mothers. They are business owners. They are athletes. They are, um, they are people who are, who, who can see a challenge and want to do it, right? And they're not proving to anybody, anybody that they can do it. They want to prove it to themselves that they can do it. I don't get these people and I don't get these people at all. Jeremy Clarkson needs to just get his head out of the sand and just accept that it's not it's not 1930s. It's 2022. Grow up. Anyways, if you like this video, like what I have to say. Um, let me know what you think. And I'll be back on another video soon. Thanks for watching. I'm out. Peace.